canceled the National Sports Center in Blaine, where Minnesota United earned three more points tonight, beating Indy 11 3 to 2 in front of the home crowd. They were up 2 0 before Simone Broccolello had an own goal, but it wouldn't matter. They'd hold on to win 3 to 2. Here are your highlights from tonight's win. Mayors, back to Ramirez. Highland plays it in. Here comes Van Ockel. He punches it out right near his penalty spot. Keeps it in play. Play on called by the referee on that one as well. Bicencini. Ibarra. Ahead. Broccolello into the penalty area. Broccolello to the left foot. Cross. Bicencini. Ramirez! Christian Ramirez makes it 1 0. Great sequence by Minnesota. Starting on that right flank, changing direction of play as you indicated they should do early on the game. Gets on this left flank, down the flank, driven ball across, lays it to Ramirez, who I thought might have been offside, but somehow there's, I think it was a defender on the goal line. That's the money little run, the left foot driven ball. Ramirez is right there, the touch inside, 1 0 Minnesota. Tries to dribble it through. Maybe could have hit it the first time at the top of the box. Here now, two on one. Broccolello has Mendez in the middle. Broccolello. Mendez. And he puts it away. Two, nothing, Minnesota. <laughs> what a dramatic counterattack from Minnesota. Again, you feel a little badly for Indy putting all the pressure on, but Minnesota really, really resilient. Resist comes back against that pressure. Gets a, almost a 3 one break. Wonderful play by Simone. Drew the defender in. Timely pass. Mendez onside. Calmly strokes it by the goalkeeper. Great little touch there. And uh, Mendez able to slot it past a sliding neat and into the back of the net, giving the Minnesota United a 2 to nothing lead. Into the penalty area, Spencer still trying to get around Diaz. He'll play it back to Ambersley. Good switch, Mendez heads it down. Oh, and an own goal! Broccolello puts it in the back of his own net. And Indy gets on the scoreboard in the 42nd minute. Chris, it was coming. You saw Indy continue to attack, attack. Minnesota could not get possession, could not maintain, hold the ball, develop their own attack uh, since their second goal and uh, it seemed inevitable. Comes across, Mendes is open, this morning's off a little bit, can't get to it quick enough, the header down. And this morning doesn't put it in, there's an Indy player lurking right behind him to put it away if they had to. Good step by Mendes, Daniel Mendes now for Minnesota United with space. Quickly ahead, Ibarra. Morales over to defend. Nabara, 1v1 with Norales. Pitch Colon. Well struck! Oh! My! What a goal! Aaron Pitch Colon! What a comeback on a counter. Brilliant goal just before halftime. Gives Minnesota a two goal lead. A game that suddenly was in doubt now, maybe not so much. But a, a cannon of a shot. Upper corner. What a timely goal. And that first touch by Pitch Colin really set up his that shot for him. I mean, he, he touched it quite nicely in front of him. So in extra time in the first half, that man right there, Aaron Pitch Colin. And, and change for Ramirez once that uh, substitution takes place. Cleverson, that's scooped up by Van Ogel. Broccolello, good touch through for Mendez. Ramirez has a crack at it and just pushes it a bit off frame. Great, great touch and quick strike by Ramirez. He could have gotten that inside that far post. Uh, Nick was beaten. Watch this touch. Watch the touch. The shot. Boom. Very quick release. Good service in from Highland. Loose ball. And a penalty kick has been called for Indy. I believe it was a handball against the Minnesota defender, possibly Justin Davis. So a penalty kick has been called for Indy. Looked like it went off the hand of Jamie Watson. So Watson kind of falling back, put the arm out, 
Cleverson from the spot for Indy. And he slots it away, lower left corner, 3-2 now. We have a whistle though, we'll have to wait. To... The referee is gonna have Cleverson retake it. Cleverson from the spot for a second time, looking to make it a one goal game. This time he goes lower right. Sure enough, he went opposite of the one before, and now it's 3-2 here at the National Sports Center. He nicely read, waited and hesitated, just read Van Oakle's lead. I'm, I'm a person who likes the goalkeeper not to guess, to react to the ball as much as possible. Just knows he calmly steps the ball, notices Van Oakle goes right and just tucks it to his left. So Cleverson from the penalty spot makes the score Minnesota United three, Indy two. And it's all for naught as the whistle sounds from the referee. And the final score here at the National Sports Center, Minnesota United three, Indy 11, two. It was just not enough time for Indiana to get that third goal. Minnesota United sits atop the North American Soccer League table with 12 points. And fans, you won't want to miss the next home game, Saturday, May 17th. Tickets start as low as $15. You can get all the info at mnunitedfc.com. And of course, when they head on the road next week to take on the New York Cosmos, don't miss the official Brits Watch Party on Monday, May 12th. You can get those details at mnunitedfc.com as well. For Minnesota United, I'm Lindsay Gensel.